Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be opening my September BoxyCharm box. And you know the drill with that if you're new with my channel. Hi, welcome to the club. I am Leanne Gerald. I make beauty videos, vlogs, mommy vlogs, reviews, you name it, under my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you want to see what's inside this month's box, it's just keep on watching. Hi, I'm back. So as you can see, I have my base on right now. And I use the Fit Me Foundation, the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. I am in the shade 312. So I'm going to contour my face using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This thing smells awesome. So yeah, it just smells awesome. <laughs> A little too oh I just tasted some of this it's actually really sweet so for the star of this vid yeah! this is the September box and I know boxy charm does the looks box boxy box like the luxurious boxy charm which is like twice as big as this so I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade to that I feel like I'm not prepared for it yet, but maybe I will. Let me talk to my bankers first, to my financial institution. Let me talk to them and figure this out if I can afford to upgrade my box jar. But anyways, this is the box. Yes. So the theme for the month is wildflower. And as you can see, there's the description for the products itself and there's coupons at the back okay so the first product that we are gonna need to put on is this laura geller baked blush and brighten and this is in the shade tropic hues and this little guy right here no it's not little it's pretty big you know it's the size of my palm it's almost the size of my palm this product right here costs 28 dollars you're freaking expensive i really thought that laura geller was a drugstore type of product when i went to ulta and i saw it there and i'm like oh i've heard about this brand and i think this is pretty cheap and when i saw the price <gasps> i was pretty shook with my bill so there's powders everywhere right now this blush is actually really pretty. How it almost have that highlighter effect. Look at that, I'm glowing. But I am not living for the color. Aww. Mauve blushes like this. I don't know, I'm kind of over it. I'm just into peach right now. I'm gonna be back and do my brows because the situation right here is not cute. So the next thing that we're gonna do is highlight our shake bones. But first of all, we're gonna wet our face. And I'm gonna use my The Slick Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. After that, we're gonna get our Glow Getter Highlighter Palette from Cara Beauty. <laughs> do you see that? <laughs> What's that? Huh? you Kara. I see you. If this isn't enough for you guys to get this palette and use my code macaroon 10% off then I don't know anymore. So the next product that we're gonna grab is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eye Shadow Palette and this one right here is $35. Look at that dough. It's got some really smoky colors going on in there. So definitely that's what we're going to go for today is a smoky look. And of course, to pair with that is they have some brushes. And these brushes are from Alamar Cosmetics. And this is their Ojitos brush set. And this retails for $18. Okay, so first is we're going to get the Hide and Seek as our transition color. Let's test it out. How's the consistency and all? Okay. The brush itself picks up product. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's 
pretty powdery but the brush feels very light the product itself blends well it's very creamy it's just powdery girl it has been a long time since i played with colors like this if you hear some kind of vibrating sounds in the background that's olivia swing next to that is i'm gonna use the same brush and i'm just gonna clean it off with my black slate i'm gonna use the swoop which is more of like a chocolatey mocha brown and apply that on my crease Okay, so after that, I am gonna use another brush of mine, not from the Alamar, and I'm gonna get this flip out right here. It's a brown shade, and I just want that brown to kind of pop out even more since the other shade, it turned out to be like more of a black shade than anything else. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that at a time and just buff that out in there. Next to that is I'm gonna apply Flip Out again using one of their brushes. Line that all over my lower lash line. Next is I'm gonna apply Ice Pie and we are gonna apply it using one of their brushes. Look at the texture. It's really soft. Let's see how it applies. Oh, look at that. Oops, did you see that? <laughs> I'll take care of that later on. It's a little messy, but say hello to the pigment though. Let me see if it applies better with my fingertips. It's a much cleaner this way. I'm going to get this clutch right here and I'm going to apply that on the inner parts of my lid. Next is I'm going to highlight my inner eye corner using Pillow Fight. I really don't know how to justify this look. Ooh, that's that's why. That's that's not cute. <gasps> how do I erase this thing? Like, girl. It was a pretty messy look. Next is this Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll-On Eyeliner. And this retails for $19. It's this little guy right here. So we're gonna test this out. It's a circle applicator flat like that. Okay, I'm not feeling the eyeliner at all just because it's pretty hard to work with i don't know how does it work for you if you have boxy charm and you like this let me know like how does this work okay so lashes are on these are house of lashes light iconic iconic light and last but not least is this little rack pro matte lip color rouge in the shade lilac and this one retails for 19 dollars definitely i'm gonna change this before i leave the house because this is pretty intense like girl violet at 11 o'clock in the afternoon in summer with smoky eye <laughs> It actually applies very nice and easy. I was really surprised and it's very pigmented and I don't know. There's something about this applicator style where it works really easily. I did my lips in a matter of seconds. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> And that was it. That's all of what's inside my box this month of September. There are two things that I really wish. Okay, I like it, but I don't like it. Huh? So it's pretty obvious that I love the application and the formula of this. It's matte. It applies very well. It doesn't dry up my lips. It feels comfortable on my lips. The pigment is there and everything. I wish they sent me a different color though. Like purple, really? <laughs> Yeah. And the eyeliner, I love the formula. It's very thin. It's like watery consistency, but it dries up really fast. So that's a really good thing. I don't know if it's waterproof or not, but it's like a roll on where I'm not used to it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not used to. It takes a skill for you to wear that. I mean, makeup already takes a skill for you to perfect it. And the fact that this is extra work. Oops. 
why not just use an ordinary liquid eyeliner okay so the palette i wish it wasn't that powdery but the pigment is there it applies very well it's blendable this palette is really really good if you're gonna use it before your foundation okay? everything else the quality and all i love the packaging it's very sturdy it's got a mirror you know the drill with that next is the laura geller i love this blush it's very luminous i love the formula and everything else it's a little powdery and i don't like the shade particularly but it does go well with the palette smoky mauvey so i get it the brushes from alamar are very nice they're very soft they pick up product they blend product really well so i don't have anything else to say with that thank you guys so much for tuning in and for hanging out with mama and if you are thinking of subscribing to boxycharm i'm gonna leave the link down below i also have my links for my other coupon codes and for my affiliation links if you just want to check it out maybe you are interested in buying those products i have a coupon code just saying thank you guys again so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe click the thumbs up if you did like this video and comment down below what you think and i'll see you guys on my next video Bye. Okay.